Let's launch in. So, Ian! Patrick, Sega announced their last... Uh, the last... Uh, chunk of games for the Genesis Mini and it was supposed to be 10 but they announced 12 so bonus games so this wow. system is going it, it's going to have 42 games included and I gotta tell you it's pretty hard to argue with this full list no so, yawning triceratops, triceratops no yawning triceratops yeah, but uh that's disappointing I'm, I'm gonna blow through these real quick Echo the Dolphin, Castlevania Bloodline, Space Harrier 2, Shining Force, Mean Bean Machine, Toe Jam and Earl, Comic Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog, Altered Beast, Gunstar Heroes, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Earthworm Jim, both Mickey Mouse Illusion games, Thunder Force 3, Super Fantasy Zone, both Shinobis, Streets of Rage 2, Contra Hardcore, Landstalker, Mega Man the Wily War, Street Fighter 2, Sonic Spinball, Fantasy Star 4, Beyond Oasis, Ghouls and Ghosts, Alex Kidd, this is a long... This or get your degree, you can major in finance <laughs> or accounting. <laughs> <laughs> just six months. That's, that's all DeVry tech fucking... Yeah. Golden uh, X, Vector Man, Wonder Boy, Monster World, Tetris, Darius, Virtua Fighter what? 2, Alyssa Dragoon, Monster World 4, Kid Chameleon, Road what? Rash 2, Eternal Champions, Columns, Dynamite, Heady, and Strider. Okay, Ian, I'm not sure why you had to run through them like that. I mean, that we're probably going to go through something again, but... Yep, we are. Because I, I, no one absorbed that. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, long story short, there's... Oh, a very long story short. There is almost too late. no filler in this list. All killer? Um, Mostly killer. I mean, and looking through this, there's even some stuff that never uh, came out on the Genesis, like officially. Like we've got the uh, Monster World Four um, uh, English translation. Uh, we are getting the uh, mysterious Sega Tetris. Can we put these lists in alphabetical order on websites? That would be nice, right? That would be that would be that would be so. They're doing it by chunks of games. Yeah. Um, Darius, which I don't believe ever got a Genesis port, they said. So we're not just getting games that we'd want to see. We're getting new stuff. Darius wasn't on the Genesis? That's what the article said. Uh, well, Tetris is the one that, that was in arcades. Yeah. And, and oh, they, I'm not saying that they, they, they uh, weren't around. I'm just saying they never officially got releases. Like Darius never got an official release. How was it around? I don't know. You tell me. That's what the article says. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It was around, but it, okay. Um... But, I mean, honestly, on here, you look at something like the PlayStation Mini, and half of it was filler or, or crap no one wanted. A totally exclusive port of Darius, I guess from the arcade one at the time. Yeah. You know, whatever late 80s version was, I'm not a Darius person. But uh, that's pretty, okay. I guess it was an easy conversion from whatever the arcade tech was, I don't know. I, I mean, or, that's I mean, It was a prototype and they had it yeah, around. Yeah. I would imagine it's got to be that because the, I mean, the arcade version of Darius wouldn't just port over because that uses, it uses a big, long widescreen. Oh, okay. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what it does. Uh, but then the, 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 the Tetris is interesting because that's the one that never, that's a weird one that, that you see on eBay from every few years, but I, I can't tell if it's real or if it was a couple of ones thrown together that go for like thousands of dollars. Uh, that was, that was an arcade. There was an arcade Sega Tetris though. There was that and then the Atari one as well so there's a two version so it's interesting that they have tetris on there even though it was never on the genesis um they added columns which i said you gotta get columns on there you gotta you gotta put columns on there the original puzzler uh for the, for the console um i i'm impressed that they they hit a lot of sweet spots by the way the japanese one does have some differences right yes i believe it does it has a uh, musha lesti full metal fighter eleanor that's that the full name party quiz mega q is on the japanese one Puyo Puyo Su, Puzzle in Action, Tant 4, Tant 4, Tant 4. <laughs> Maybe that's for Yawning Triceratops. The Hybrid is. Front? Is that, is, is, I never heard of that. Yeah, I don't know that So one. there's Wrestle Ball, and uh, this, this, I'm just eyeballing to see the difference in ones. Yu Yu Hakusho, Hakusho Maku yeah. Toitsu, Toitsu Sen, and Slap Fight, MD. Medical Doctor Slap Fight. <laughs> <laughs> there's more Mato Monogatori. So there's there's some differences there. Um, Target Earth, Assault Suit Lanos, Target Earth. Anyway, uh, Alicia Dragoon. That's a that's a hidden gem, Rue. Uh, that you know that Pat might have covered. It's a great with, game with, uh, with a dominatrix potentially. That is getting uh, a U.S. release as well. So yeah, it's a bummer that some of the shooters like Musha aren't on there, uh, especially given the the price of Musha um, in the U.S. But otherwise, I mean. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is... I mean, that's Puyo Puyo. It's good. Honestly, Columns is maybe the the most... 
non-essential game on here. Really? I mean, it's not good. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's iconic. It's not good. It's well, sometimes you need Sega. some iconic. It's a black box game for Genesis. It's a graph game. Graph game. So, <laughs> anyways, it's looking really good, and for the price of eighty, I mean, that's that's a really really excellent um, list of games. Uh, you know, Bloodlines goes for a shitload. Contra goes for a bunch. Um, Alyssa Dragoon is not cheap anymore. Gunstar Heroes goes for a decent amount. Yeah. Gunstar Heroes, yeah. Um, so this is pretty great. Uh, you got the Mega Man game on there. Yeah, that was only in Europe. So this, this is what I'm going to say. So we got a couple bonus games, 42. Um, st- still no no sports games, which I, 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 I'm just... It was probably the licensing cost, obviously. A lot of these are... You know, there's a lot of first-party games on here that you know, obviously Sega doesn't have to pay for. The Capcom ones are probably cheap, cheaper to license, but they did get the Mickey Mouse stuff yeah. on there. Those, so maybe that was maybe those were tethered to those properties a lot easier to get those. Possibly, I also think um, that on. I mean, there are good sports games on the Genesis for sure, but honestly, I don't think anyone's going to miss them. Really, no one's going to miss them. I, I'm going to miss them, Ian. I think they well. Congrats, but I think they'd probably rather have. I, rather have they can't add on an NHL game. It would make sense. I just don't think it's the biggest. Or Joe Montana. NHL wasn't a big Genesis. Are no, you really going to say I'm that? I'm saying I don't think it's the biggest deal that there's not one a, on there. I think it's a big deal not to have one sports game, not to represent an entire genre of games. I do. Mm. What are you, Mister Anti Sports Game? Now, no, like, they're not I'm real just, games. I like sport. I, why didn't I say that? I like sports games. Half, I would venture to say that. Uh, I half don't the think kids it's that necessary. had a, I would say that half the kids that owned a Sega Genesis either had a Joe Montana or an NHL game. Holy shit. So did I. I'm just saying I don't think anyone's going to miss them on And I'm here. saying I'm missing them, Ian. Okay. And if I'm missing them, so are all the other kids that played NHL 94 or 95. Because you're going to get that Genesis Mini and open it up on day one and plug it into your TV. <laughs> yes. No. I did that with the NES and the Super Nintendo Classic. <laughs> you're so full of shit. Uh, what? You think I'm lying? I didn't play the Super Nintendo Classic? You're going to be fine without a sports game. You know, I reviewed that. the NES Classic, right? Yes. I did a whole Pat yes. Nielsen video on it, right? I, I'm that, aware. That did very well. Yes. I'm well aware. I just don't think it's a big deal that there's not a sports and game And I'm on telling there. you, it's 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 a deal. I'm not saying it's a big deal. It's a deal. Let's make well, a deal. How about you decide, if you, the listener slash viewer, is you, are you kind of weirded out there's not one sports game on here to play? Not one. It's, and not it's, e- it's strange. It's and not, not even going. Like a, it's not going to be a big deal. And not no even one's just going like, to fucking write a bad review about it because it doesn't have a sports game. I'm not saying it's going to be a bad product. I'm just saying it's a it's a it's a slight misfire not to have it because all the other minis have have it on there. So it's like well disappointed. That's all. And and no and no Moonwalker and no Moonwalker. You did get Ultra Beast. You got some of those first first runs there. Um, you got Space Harrier on here. Space Harrier 2. Is it on here? Yes. Okay, so that's the first first run of, you know, that got you going in 89, so, early 90. Real quick, they, uh, in Japan only so far, they've announced a completely pointless accessory that I think is rather adorable that'll be coming out for this at about 37 bucks. It's fucking ridiculous. It's called the Sega, uh, the Sega uh, Mini Tower, and it's literally a, it, it's literally plastic... <laughs> Represent it's little mini Sega CD 32x and a little Sonic the Hedgehog Mega Drive cartridge that uh, you, you that you tower up. Yeah, that you put together to make the uh, Megazord. That just loves. just for just to sell you ch- more plastic. Just for with, shits and giggles. With no function. It's thirty bucks, so you get this. You get the Mega Drive CD. You get the 32x and the cart. You get all. Yep. You, you, they're not separate. You got so you nope, plug you them in. You get them all together. So I guess. Uh, you're, you're taking out what was the what was the charm of this being mini, and now you're making it bigger. <laughs> you're making it uh, uh, not medium. a mini, a, a medium. It's a medium. It's a Sega medium. It's an average. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a Sega average now. <coughs> the Genesis G- Genesis average, Mega, Mega Drive average. So, yeah. anyways, um, I wonder why they wouldn't put that on the U.S. I, I just I just wonder why that wouldn't be here. I don't know. Because now because now it won't match the uh, the the style because it's a Mega Drive and not a uh, Genesis. Now, if they if they had it where it, you got some sound on it, or maybe the boot up sequence was different for like the that. Come on, come that would on, be cute. come on, Sega, I could do your thinking for you. You can't put something like that in there. The little cute, you know, the CD spins around and you see Sonic show up. There's a few different songs. I that love on the there. Sega CD intro. It's was good. it two or three songs? There's at least two different songs. That were there's on there. the main one, and then there's a second one when you like 
when you reset like if i think if you like are loading another game well, without they, turning it all the way off oh i thought there were different revisions that they, that they were different too. oh uh yeah it might be i, I, just, I just know the the because when we've been using it with the with the mega sg i've noticed different songs within the because because the top loader or top loader the, the whatever the regular the front loader was uh like the 1.0 and then the, the the flip up one was probably at least like 1.1 1. 1 or 1. 1.2 at yeah. that point i know they had different revisions of the software when you boot up anyway all right well that's cute i i you know what i i will i will i will get this this genesis mini even without a sports game i'll get it ian <laughs> And even though two of the games, two of the games you can't play with three buttons, Turtle Champions and Street Fighter 2. That thing's on its way out. No, it's not. Okay. 